What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zola Toys, and today I have a review of the Transformers Studio Series, Crowbar. Alright, powering through to the fourth and final uh, review of these deluxes from this new Studio Series. We have Crowbar here, the Septicon Crowbar, powering through because I'm coming down with a cold, guys. <laughs> Ultrazil Jr. has been sick the last few days, so yeah, good times. Um, but this is taking me a long time to get to this, and it's not good. <laughs> Which is a shame because I kind of really like it in robot mode, but I'm just going to get right into it. This nothing wants to stay tabbed together here. Like this keeps popping out. And this side keeps popping out. I mean, it's lucky it's dark, but man, you could totally see it. These window back windows keep falling inwards. It's like it's it's kind of a mess. Uh, and two reasons: one, these tentacles don't want to uh, listen to you at all, and then this is like the worst design I've ever seen. I hate that. I hate that so much. Um, it just doesn't allow for much mobility, you know, to get everything together. So pretty bad. Um, otherwise, really, I mean, the truck, some sort of, can't even remember what it is, type of truck, some sort of, you know, it's got lights and sirens. I, I can't even remember, guys. Um, Septicon symbols on the sides. The windows are like a dark pearlescent bluish and that's it you know i mean it's it's kind of a mess kind of frustrating um these like i don't know missile weapon thingies can go on the side here if you want to do something like that but meh now right, let's look at these real quick soft plastic kind of like a brown Molded all right, not so bad. We'll take a look at them again afterwards. But let's try to get this guy out of this mode. Please never look at my transformations for yours because I'm just not good at it. I don't go in any sort of order. Kind of make a mess of things before I'm all said and done. <laughs> yeah, um, this guy is de is suffering from a lot of things popping out as well, um, like so, like Bumblebee did. Maybe not as bad as Bumblebee, but. I don't know. It's, it's pretty annoying either way. Wish it wouldn't happen. Um, that foot goes like that. Yeah, you definitely don't want to ever look at my videos for how to's. You, you want to look at them for how to not to. <laughs> so. Okay, pull them apart there. His hands are in here. This hand was very tight. It's weird, it's like a soft plastic. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna pull his hand off there. Probably best to, but you, you do scratch it, look at that. When you do that. Ugh. Because of its, I think because it's a soft plastic, it's really um, getting stuck. It's also late and I'm tired. <laughs> Trying to get these all done tonight. Uh, by the time, I don't know when you'll see it. My internet is down, by the way. Hey, how about that? So while I'm doing this, and I, I want to get all these reviews up for you guys, my internet is down. Or I'll Stinger would be, well, Stinger should be up by the time you see this. Um, so, oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. It's just, this one pops out a lot. So lots of QC issues as far as that goes. Pull that all in. Man, it's just, it's taking me so long to figure out like what to do with this. Um, like how to get all, everything to tab in. I've, I feel like I've actually forgotten how to properly uh, 
transform this guy. So I definitely will have to take a look, see if everything is good. These actually belong down here. I believe. This. That's how it came in the package. Maybe they don't, but I kind of like him down there because he's, he's already got a bunch of hair here. So I'm gonna just make sure he's uh, all situated and then we'll continue with the review. All right, I can't really find too much on his back here. Um, so I think it's right. doesn't really look too wrong. And either way, he's got a big Shelly backpack. So otherwise he, I mean, this mode looks pretty good. He's a really nice looking, nice looking figure. Um, head sculpt is pretty nice. I really like this like dark silver. He's got like messed up marks like, like in the sculpt itself, you know? You see a, more of a mouth inside there. It's pretty cool. I like all the eyes. Just a really nice head sculpt there. Chest looks good. I like this like dark red. Pretty nice shape here. Arms coming down look pretty decent here. The hands again are soft plastic, which is odd, but uh, they look good. Not so bad. Getting down to the bottom here. Got some red on his knees. That's pretty good. Um, it's kind of like a gradient going on from here to here. I like that from light to dark. It's kind of like a faux gradient, but it's not really a gradient. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. I like the outer dark gray. There, how that kind of makes it pop the insides and stuff. Pretty good. Feet look all right. Not so bad. So yeah, it's not floppy. That's always a, a nice thing. These weapons, it's kind of going his hands. Like so. Um, you can also store him on his back, I believe, somehow. It says in the directions, but I just can't see. I don't know if that, <laughs> I doubt that's how it would be. So. I, I really don't know, so I won't do it, but there you go. That's how it looks on there. Articulation, heads on a ball joint, so you get a ton of movement. His neck is also on a hinge there, which is good. Ball joint at the shoulder, that's good. You can also move it up like that. You have a mushroom peg over here for some bicep rotation, single jointed elbow. The rest you can move this way. No rotation in the waist or anything. Ball jointed hips for a nice range of motion. Swivel hip, single jointed knee. And the foot can move forward and back. The foot is really nice. I really like that. I really like the claws. So pretty cool. Not bad in this mode. Um, fortunately, you know, the transformation is very annoying because of, you know, what's definitely because of all this hair. Well, let's, I didn't even look at the hair. Sorry. Tentacles, hair. Looks good. Got some good sculpt on him. Well, yeah, it is a pain for to get everything transformed and lined up correctly. That's a shame because it's it's a decent figure otherwise. You know what I'm saying? So just to bring in a couple of his wave mates again. There's Ratchet. The stinger. So he looks with them. Bumblebee is uh, still.
still a mess, but let's see. Let's see if I could get him situated a little better. He's missing his arm. It's somewhere. It is B. Here's a Leo Prime. And we have Hot Rod here. And I'll end them there. That's because I think I'm done. <laughs> uh, time to go rest, guys. All right, guys. So that's it. That's my uh, final review of these deluxes from the new studio series. It's, you know, it's a Menza Menza uh, <laughs> feel overall, like... You know, I mean, this guy's got a lot of problems. Wellmobile has a ton of problems. Stinger's all right. You know, like, overall, he's not bad. Um, Ratchet is my favorite. Overall, Ratchet's turned out to be my favorite of the Deluxes in Wave 1. So, how about that? I'm, I'm very, very surprised about it. All right, but that's it all right so please like comment subscribe and share i'll definitely be looking out for more of these it hasn't deterred me from you know checking out the rest of wave one i usually do that and then i'll i'll you know adjust accordingly as we go please like comment subscribe and share until next time peace out peeps